being an electrical engineer uh, that was first thing which, I came, which came to my mind as well uh, that uh, uh, by designing this means engineering uh, or electronics competitions i was always uh, participating but this really uh, i would like to say that uh, uh, designing is always important because uh, majority of times including me 90% of times people do their projects and they never exit the loop they do prototyping but making it to the final product that never happens that rarely happens this uh, competition really helps you to understand uh, how technology should be implemented with the design and the mix of both is just uh, the outcome is well uh, something very wonderful keep every iteration folder separate don't fix them one of the biggest mistake that i did was uh, while working on the iterations i actually used to update the file that i have so it just went on iterating itself and uh, when i had to go to the previous folder just in case to check it uh, there wasn't any database left for it so it was just the screenshot that i had taken uh, during the presentation first and most important thing is that keep a backup of everything which is really really important like i was completed up to still 90% like that i was completed but after that my software just crashed and then everything was gone like that so keep a backup of everything for that's my first advice and then i have already said like choose appropriate software we need to decrease the polygon size in the blender so i started redesigning the complete uh, quantum computer in one day it is more fast to or to me so my suggestion is that whenever you are working with the blender we need to decrease the polygon size good uh, uh, computational power like gpu is also required uh, to render things very easily so in our case uh, we use a uh, blender uh, it's a open source uh, 3d visualization program and it's also uh, particularly for visualization also because it's not uh, Uh, for the mathematically valid uh, designs uh, we cannot particular for the validation of the designs so uh, to render in a blender we can uh, go with uh, cycles because cycles is the most uh, uh, fascinating engine uh, it render things with the ray tracing the natural simulation of light uh, so obviously the result is uh, going to be very uh, natural and to make it efficient uh, more fast choose the op takes a uh, version of the cycles uh, optics uh, is a rendering uh, option in the particular cycles and uh, minimize the light bounce for the fast rendering and uh, increase the tile size things to make your renderings efficient and fast there should always be a thought process behind it why we are implementing it or there should be a reason behind every designing uh, and i feel Uh, there are a few parameters like uh, the design should be aesthetic, uh, the measurements as well as the material which we are using. Or uh, uh, is it just uh, uh, imagination, or we can even implement it? Should it be uh, easy to, uh, you know, it should be stable? It should be durable. There are these are all parameters which we need to consider. And uh, I think people or uh, students which are new to designing should always keep in mind that there is a meaning behind every design, and you need to find that reason why you are making it. When I was designing lab, um, I implemented that Mumbai local theme. Uh, the reason behind that was uh, usually in Mumbai, in 90% people travel that theme. So basically, whenever they are entering lab, there, there should be a familiar feeling to them. It shouldn't looking like a boring stuff or there should be uh, there are all components uh, attached uh, means kept over there and uh, the the feel shouldn't be like a, a normal studying experience it should more look like a familiar thing there should be some uh, I, I attached a wallpaper i remember uh, of one of the flower i don't remember the name actually the feature was everyday blossoms it means it doesn't have a particular period of season uh, for design means to blossom so the meaning behind that is every day uh, should be a uh, you should blossom every day when you are coming to lab you should evolve as a person and uh, you should always be happy now it is i don't directly state uh, my solution to any question straight forward i first of all think it like is it possible is it a good solution like is it, it will if it will be practical or feasible in this implementation then i start saying it or maybe i consult to my teammates and colleagues like so i am planning something like this what do you guys feel and if they have some take on it or they have some suggestions i add it to it and then i go for presenting the whole idea completely rather than just a straight forward the systematic way gives a right a really nice flow to the whole answer and solution there are students like me who are uh, pursuing engineering and also has a, a design as their 
very good passion is that okay to continue design like will that make me give me a profession or job like that i will be thinking it all the time don't think like you are designing uh, and you are pursuing engineering like that they both are not a different fields like engineering and design both are when together it will be like marvelous that's what i want to say